New York Rangers, Ryan Lindgren is an extremely important part of this team and definitely one of the biggest parts of this New York Rangers decor. I definitely think that we need to try and lock him up long term, either you know some point this year or next offseason, whatever it is. We need to lock him up long term because he is just such a big part of this team. He is the perfect guy to pair with someone like an Adam Fox, who is obviously an elite two-way defender. He's a top two demon in the league. But I think Foxy being a bit more offensive than defensive, pairing him with a guy like a Ryan Lincoln to allow him to be that offensive dynamo, that elite playmaker, elite overall just offensive defenseman, I think is the perfect guy to pair with him. You know, Ryan Lindgren, he does everything right. He is not the best offensive guy, although he did have a you know career high 18 points last year, one goal, 17 assists with a plus 29, and only in 63 games as well. So, you know, in a full season, I expect him to be anywhere from like 20 to 30 points. He's not going to be that 35 plus, 40 plus kind of demon, I don't think. But, you know, him not playing any power play time, never having a power play point in his entire career, he definitely does pretty good 5-on-5 five five at getting the job done. And he's not obviously that, that elite you know, offensive player by any means, but he's definitely a very good defensively sound defenseman who blocks shots, hits, fights. He does everything right in the defensive zone. I mean, he's a great defensive player. Like I said, he gives it his all every single shift. And he's not afraid of anything. I don't know how many games you really see out of Ryan Lindgren where he's not cut or bruised or, you know, a little in pain. Like he is, he's giving it his all every single game. And I mean, I swear at least once a week, he's going off the ice with a cut and you can clearly see he's bleeding. Like he is just that kind of guy. He gives it his all. He battles, he fights, he does everything right. And he's that kind of team player who gives it his 110%, whatever it takes to win. And that's the guy, kind of guy you want on your team when you're trying to win the Stanley Cup. I mean, he's a guy who will give it his all. And you definitely want those kind of guys because they inspire the team. When he goes out there and fights and hits bigger guys and stuff, it definitely, I'm sure, hypes up the guys and gets them going a bit more. And overall, he has been just a very solid player. Was one of the better players in this year's playoff run, although it was a very disappointing playoff run against the New Jersey Devils. He still had a nice goal, had a nice assist as well. But overall, was one of the only you know few players I really thought that actually played you know relatively well. So very nice to see there. He also had a very good playoff run, a 2021-2022 playoff run. Back in 17 games when we went on that conference finals run against Tampa. He had a total of five points, two goals, three assists. And those two goals were actually pretty nice as well in 17 games played in that playoff run as well. So overall, a very solid top four D-man and definitely a guy who I want to see locked up long term. He's still pretty young, obviously only 25, turning 26 in February. I like to see him sign a six-year deal, something like that, five, six, seven-year deal is kind of what I'm hoping for. I definitely think it just possibly could see that happen some point fairly soon. I mean, I'm probably not this offseason, but maybe some point through the year or next offseason. I definitely want to see that happen. He's in the last year of a three-year, $3 million deal per. So had a three-year deal worth $9 million total, three mil AAV. And he's going to be obviously like 26 next offseason when it, you know his contract is over, but he will be an RFA, which is nice. So minimum, we'll be able to trade him away for something, but I really do hope that we can re-sign him. Two, you know, fairly comparable guys like on the high end and low end for a lingering contract is a guy like Eric Chernak on the high end. He signed an eight-year deal worth $5.2 million, but he is a right-handed defenseman, but still the same kind of playing style, big, tough, more defensive guy than an offensive guy. He is a right-handed D-man, though, so that value is a bit more, but still fairly comparable, you know, more defense than offensive. His career high is 18 points. He's not some big offensive scoring kind of guy. Signed this at 26 years old, which Linger will be signing his next deal more than likely next offseason, I'd imagine, at 26 years old. So same signing age. This deal kicks in this upcoming season, like I said, at eight years at 5.2 per. So a fairly reasonable deal for a guy like an Eric Chernak. Um, but overall, you know, very solid player. He signed as an RFA as well. And another guy here is Mike Anderson on the low end here. And he's a 24-year-old when he signed this deal back in February. Eight-year deal worth $4.125 million per. He's a left-handed defenseman as well. So a bit more comparable. Signed as an RFA as well. So I think this is more a like closer to what Lingren will probably get. Because personally, I, I want to see Lingren sign a six, seven, eight-year deal. A long-term deal would be very, very nice to see. And I think we could get him for four and a half, four point six, four point four 4.6, 4. 4 on a seven, six, seven, eight-year deal. I would be more than happy with that for a guy like Lindgren. I think lock him up long term. And I think, you know, Mickey Anderson is a very comparable guy. They're both left handed D man, both still in their kind of mid 20s, both more defensive than offensive. Very tough guys, block shots, fight, hit, that kind of stuff. You know, get do the gritty work, but also just an all around solid defenseman. 
And I think that Lingren is a bit better of a player than a Mikey Anderson. So I do think that we will have to pay a bit more. But, you know, Mikey being a bit younger as well, that does kind of value in. So maybe we do see him at, you know, 4.4, 4.5 million for Lingren on a six, seven, eight year deal. I think it'd be a very fair deal for both sides. And I think that's probably about what the market value would be for an RFA as well. Because you got to remember, Lingren is an RFA, he's not a UFA. So he doesn't have negotiating rates to negotiate with like any team really. He can only, you know, negotiate with the Rangers, really. So I think this is probably the best outcome for Lindgren. Signing a six, seven, eight-year deal at, you know, 4.4, 4.6. Something around there, I think, is a very fair deal for both sides. And I would definitely be more than happy with locking up Lindgren on a six, seven, eight-year deal in the mid, you know, 4.5, something around there. I would definitely be happy with. But anyways, guys, let me know your guys' thoughts in the comment section down below what you would want to give a deal to Ryan Lindgren. Personally, like I said, I don't want to give him more than $5 million. That would be the very most I'd want to give. The high fours is kind of where I'm looking at. You know, 4.75. I'm going to go much higher than that. But on the low end, I could see 4.3, 4.4, probably maybe 4.2. But that would probably be on the low end if you wanted to sign like a, you know, really cheap, like long, like short-term deal. Maybe it was like a two-year deal, like 4.2. That's possible. But I think Lindgren will probably want to get paid for a decent amount of years. So I would say six, seven years is probably what we're going to see from Lindgren. And if we get him at anywhere in the fours, you know, mid fours, I would be extremely happy with that. But let me get your thoughts on this deal in the comments down below. Thanks for watching and see ya.